did you know that internet usage skyrocketed for about 1000% since 2000? With all the national searches per day, internet needs new browser and seems someone is making one right now. In today's video, I'm going to talk about this browser and show you first look. It's not that easy to launch, but I spend some time and I make it work on my Ubuntu OS. Maybe some of you already heard about Ladybird browser and what people talking about it is really promising. If you want to know more details and my review about this browser, how to install it and how to try it, then let's watch this video till the end. I also share with you some instruction how you can launch it in your computer. If you are ready, then let's get started. Ladybird browser is an ambitious open source project focus on creating new independent web browser from scratch. It is being developed without using code from existing browsers. The developer aiming to build a new web engine based on the web standards. Actually, it started as a HTML viewer for Serene TOS. It's a hobby operation system of one of the developer. And then it has involved into cross-platform browser supports on Linux, Mac and Unix Linux system. The good thing is the browser will be open sourced so everyone can contribute to it. The key features of this browser will be a web standards focus. Basically, the browser emphasizes compliance with modern web standards to ensure good performance, stability, and security. Also, it will be cross-platform. It is founded through sponsorship and donations. And also, it has strong community presence. It's still in development and it's still an early stage. So many features are under construction. The first alpha release plan for 2026. So it's really a long journey. It's really ambitious project. And it could be a really big new play in the web browser market. And because it's open and independent, so it has a great potential. And of course, there is a lot of challenge in building such kind of things from scratch. I've decided don't wait until 2026. So I clone the repository and try to build it on my Ubuntu OS. I spend about half of the day to make it work. So it really takes some time. That's why I decided to create one instructions that can help you to do the same thing, but faster. The instruction will be under the description for this video. I've tried to make it simple for everyone can follow. Because when I have looked, at GitHub project of Lady Bird and the instruction, it's not that obvious. At least it wasn't obvious for me. That's why I want to make your life easier. So I created the simple instruction. Most of the steps you have to do it from your terminal. You can do it from Windows, Mac or Linux. And you need to be really patient. Okay, the build process is finished and we are ready to launch Lady Bird browser. So let's take a look. Here's the browser. To be honest, I wasn't impressed from the first look because I can see the amount of work that developers should do. The interface reminds me of Windows 3.1 application. I'm not sure how it will evolve in the future, but right now it's really, really simple. As you could see in the settings, we don't have a lot of options. And the browser by itself doesn't provide you a lot of different things to play with. You can create tabs. There is a hamburger menu on the right hand side. And that's it. Let's try to open google.com. And see what I'll get. So I see the problem with the Thai language here. Let me change it into English. This is the way how Google homepage looks like. Let me try to click some links. Uh, for example, advanced search. Yeah, I'll try to go back. Unfortunately, I can go back. Something doesn't work. Okay, seems I'm stuck. Let me try to close this tab. I'll try to open another website from another tab. I'll open my website, profile.dev. Let's see the result. Seems it couldn't get the right font. 
the font looks a little bit different. However, lazy loading and another stuff seems working fine. If you click the right button on your mouse and then click inspect, you will see the inspector. Let's see what you can do with the inspector. So there is a DOM tree, accessibility tree. There is a console log. There is a com compound style. It's really, really, really far away from ROM, but good direction. Let me try to use console log. I will try to use window object. Seems it's return something. Let's try with document object. And seems it's also returned something. It's a bit too slow on my computer. That's why it's uh, hard to use. But the render of the page seems is really okay. Seems the CSS, images, and basic tags are working fine. Yeah, let me try to make uh, take a full screenshot. Unfortunately, it doesn't do anything. Probably it's a feature for the future. It's really slow for now. Let me look at the memory usage. Let's see. I can. Uh, let me. Oh my God. As you can see, I don't have available memory. Seems Lady Bird projects took the most. Okay, let me try to restart the browser and see what other functionality it has. Okay, let's try to open YouTube and see if it could render the page. So it takes some time and unfortunately I am not able to see anything. Maybe something is missing right now. That's why it doesn't work for me. I don't want to waste a few time. I've tried almost all the functions that are available in the browser. Unfortunately, it's really, really too early to give the final review, but I could tell that the developers have a lot of things to do. If they really want to have the portion of the web browser market. I personally love Google Chrome and I'm not 100% sure if I would change it, but I would definitely will look forward to see how this browser will develop further. So if you want to try it by yourself, follow the instructions under the video. That's it. I don't know if you will like this browser or no. Of course, right now it it's not that amazing. However, people promise a lot. So let's see what we're going to have in the future. I hope you like this video. I hope you find it useful and informative. If you like it, please click like. If you don't like it, please click like. But don't forget to share your feedback in comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end. Thank you so much for your support. And I hope to see you in my next videos. Bye.